Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. Next ID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. Chinese central government agency, the National Development and Reform Commission, or NDRC, has identified Bitcoin mining as undesirable in a recently published proposal, according to Coindesk. This designation will be subject to public feedback, after which it may come into effect. This could have significant impact on the market as over 1 million crypto mining machines are expected to be operating in the country's southwestern region this summer. The Western Union Company has announced via press release that they have partnered with Philippines blockchain-based e-wallet company Coins.ph. The development would allow more than 5 million customers to receive international and domestic money transfers directly into their Coins.ph wallets in the Philippines. Ron Hose, Coins.ph co-founder and CEO, said, quote, There are many overseas Filipino workers who send money back home regularly and are always looking for additional remittance options that will make it most convenient for their loved ones to receive money. By pairing Coins.ph's payments technology with Western Union's expansive global network, we are giving Filipinos a seamless choice to receive money digitally on the go. End quote. Canadian crypto exchange Quadriga CX has officially entered bankruptcy proceedings, according to the CBC. The exchange has not been operating for some three months, and its 115,000 users are owed over $260 million Canadian in cash and cryptocurrencies. And crypto lending firm Dharma is now available to the public, according to a blog post yesterday by the company. The announcement indicates that users can use Dharma's services through any wallet, and that upon launch, Ethereum and the stablecoin DAI will be supported. An excerpt from the post reads, quote, Our goal is to make borrowing and lending beautiful and easily accessible. We're here to onboard the next million users to crypto finance. To do so, we've built an experience similar to today's most popular internet applications, but with the magic and speed of an upgraded programmable financial system. Dharma is a product that just works, end quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.